Welcome back. So the holidays are coming up and uh, if you think we've all got stress trying to manage the holidays, um, I often just think through what our families who have a loved one with uh, Alzheimer's disease or one of the dementias uh, might have to also factor in as they're wanting to celebrate these really happy occasions but with a challenging illness um, in the midst. So um, as the sort of uh, tips from the doctor, tips from um, someone experienced uh, in this, I'll, I'll uh, just offer a few suggestions and um, in some cases we have a little handout that we hand out to our caregivers um, around the holiday time and uh, try to just have them do some of these things as a way of kind of de-stressing themselves so that they really can enjoy these wonderful holidays. Um, I think probably most important is doing what they can to keep to a schedule. So our, our loved ones with dementia uh, generally are going to do better if they are on schedule. And sometimes that's hard when parties and, and different religious services or different visits, trips, etc. But the more you can do to keep a, a patient with dementia on a specific schedule, probably the better they're going to feel. Um, really important to that schedule is sleep. <laughs> That's one of the most important things that you can do is to not rush your loved one and to do everything you can to make sure that their sleep is um, preserved as far as what they're used to getting. Um, keep in mind that if they're going to be traveling you may need to make arrangements to have medications. Make sure you have everything you need, of course, but if they're going to be running out of a medication or if there's any possibility um, that they'll need an additional uh, PRN or as needed medication, you want to make sure you take those off the medicine shelf as well as their routine medications. So some caregivers um, don't necessarily think of that, but be sure to suggest that they keep those medications with them as well. It's also important to remind caregivers sometimes that the way their loved one reacted last Christmas may not be the same way they'll react this Christmas or this Thanksgiving or this Hanukkah. Um, time has elapsed and uh, as we know, unfortunately, these dementias do progress over time. And so how they handled things last year may not be the same way they'll handle them this year. So keep in mind as well that Often large group events are going to be more threatening and potentially less enjoyable to your loved one with dementia. Um, I uh, generally, in my uh, uh, family events, um, I'm always watching out for the oldest person in the room. So we generally have a little rotation of our uh, young grandchildren and we make sure that each of them has their turn um, going over and talking with the uh, elders of, of the family and um, it turns out to be a really fun activity and you can do the same sort of thing with individuals with dementia is to make sure that there's some one person who's always going to be with that individual. Um, that one-on-one -on -one can sometimes be a much more comforting uh, uh, experience than having large room full of people with all sorts of conversations going on that they may or may not really be able to participate in. In. Um, having that one-on-one -on -one can be really comforting to your loved one with dementia.